goodness. Let's move on to our next story. The Brigadier General, a general a DG of the NYSC, Suleiman Kazare, on Thursday pledged to give priority to the welfare of core members. Now, Kazare said that the management of the NYSC was working tirelessly with, re with relevant agencies to ensure that the federal government enhances the allowances of core members. Quote unquote, he stated, we are not unmindful of the costs of goods and services in the country when placed side by side with the present allowance of the members. We are not relenting as the scheme has made representations to the government through relevant agencies. So a statement issued in Ibadan by the Oyo State's NYSC coordinator, Mrs. Ifioma Nindobi, quoted him as saying such during a visit to the NYSC orientation camp at Isei. Now, he went on further to state, quote unquote, my dear children, inasmuch as you look forward to seeing improved welfare packages from the government, the onus lies on you to serve the nation responsibly. As true from all forms of negative tendencies which are capable of truncating your dreams of becoming highly successful and respected leaders of tomorrow. The NYSC created a platform for you to become entrepreneurs, industrialists and future captains of industries with the introduction of the Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development Program. You know, Chukudi, as I was reading this, I had to really stop myself from laughing. Mm. Um, let's, let's, let's go back to that yes. report for a second. My dear so, children. My dear children, daddy, in daddy. as much as you look forward to seeing the improved welfare package from the government, the onus lies on you to serve the nation responsibly. How do we take that statement? This is the day after International Youth Day, where we were all speaking about creating safe spaces and saving for the youth. The onus lies on us. Daddy, daddy, we, <laughs> ap we appreciate you as our daddy, you understand? Because uh, the position you occupy, whether you like it or not, as your children, you are our daddy. But it's also very, very important that we think our statement's true so that we don't end up missing the point yeah. when we want to address a particular issue. Mm -hmm. The onus does not lie <laughs> on your children. If you fail in your responsibility as a father, I mean, it's clear. Now, we have people who leave their primary place of origin and their immediate family and traverse the length and breadth of Nigeria to go and contribute their own quota to nation building and national development in the concept of the NYSC, and yet you don't take care of them. So please, this is not saying, uh, we know that you are looking forward to improved welfare, because you should look forward to improved welfare, of course, but the onus lies on you to do, to do. No, nothing goes for nothing. The truth is, if you want to get the very best from our industrious, ingenious, and creative Nigerian youth, you must give them the opportunity to express themselves. You must take care of them. You must ensure that welfare is improved. You must ensure that they have access to all of the basic amenities and facilities that they need to excel. We don't want a situation where, for example, you owe our teachers and say, eh, after all, you are a teacher. You must still teach like that. No. But you know, be firewood. But you know, they use battery. But you know, they use charger. So, Daddy, please, eh, this statement, as your children, we are respectfully telling you that if you add two plus two, this one can never give you four. <laughs> so please, do not rely on the fact that uh, even though we, as, as a government or as people in authority, we fail in our responsibility to young people, young people will do something. Please, sir, they are not Lionel Messi. They are Honestly. not C. Ronaldo. They are not Maradona. They are not Pele. They are not magicians that can conjure abracadabra and, and restore the situation. Please. Do the needful and ensure that they also give you their very best. That is quite a disappointing statement overall. It's a, it's a huge knock on the youth, especially after everybody knows what it takes to even when you start registering for your NYSC by the time you've done camp. He went on further in that statement, Chukudi, to say, the NYSC created a platform for you to become entrepreneurs, industrialists, and future captains of industries. Chukudi, is that really and truly the effectiveness that we are seeing of the NYSC today? The truth is... The reality mm. is entirely different from, from the picture the notion, yep. that our daddy has painted. painted yep. Daddy, a lot of young people, your children, if you give them the opportunity to scrap the NYSC, I'm very sure if we take a vote today of core members, many will tell you to scrap it. And it's not because they don't want to serve their country. It is because of the very essence of the NYSC that has now been lost. What you must do is focus on restoring the pride and the dignity of the NYC. It was instituted after the Nigeria Civil War. 
so that we can, you know, try as much as we can to promote harmony, social, cultural interaction amongst people from different parts. I'm going to tell you this. Some people, the only memories some people have of different parts of Nigeria is as a result of the experiences that they exactly. gathered during the NYSC. NYSC was created for inclusion and diversity. Go across to a different part of the country, learn something new, try out a different culture, get out of your comfort zone. Unfortunately, what we are seeing today is that the entire system has regressed, and it's up to the government to actually start to do something about it. But what exactly are the government going to do if we don't put that pressure there? Which reminds me, we have five days left to register for your PVC. If you haven't gone out there and gotten your PVC, VC yet, please go out there and get it. Chukudi, a lot of people went over the weekend. I was so happy, so, so happy. It's good to see so many young people actually saying that, you know what, the 2019 elections is actually going to be the first election that I participate in. It's really exciting. Very true. Which to enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.